What's up guys, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I figured I'd do a first impression on the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. Of course, I've seen this all over and I had to go pick it up from Sephora. And of course, I'm starting off with clean skin. I just washed my face with soap and water to make sure my pores are as clean as possible to get all the benefits from this luminizing mask and of course when you start filming people want to just call you but my mother was just calling to wish me a happy birthday by the time you guys see this video my birthday would have already passed february 28th shout out to all my pisces out there okay mama i'm filming okay so back to the mask this luminizing black mask is 2.8 ounces now the packaging is rather small but i realized as i was applying it that it does go a long way And as you're applying this thick, even layer all across your face, you want to make sure to avoid your lips, your eyes, and of course your hairline. You do not want to rip the hairline when it's time to take this mask off. That would be horrible. Just something to keep in mind, the more you grab, of course, it's going to run a little faster off of your fingertips. So, it was this moment that I knew I messed up. Yep, right there. When it got on the very tip of my eyebrow, I just went ahead and smoothed it out very quickly over my forehead. Just to make sure it didn't run down any further. And again, I'm just making the layer as thick as possible. You wanna make sure you pay close attention to the edges as well, because that's where you're gonna be peeling it from. You're gonna be peeling it from your cheeks first. So you wanna make sure those edges are nice and thick so you have something to pull on. And you're not just taking off bits and pieces and it's chipping all over. Just make sure the layer is as thick as possible. Now, my nose and my chin happen to be the worst problem areas on my face as far as the blackheads and whiteheads. So that's why I'm paying close attention to those two areas to just, again, reap all the benefits of this mask. Really getting into my pores to pick up those disgusting black and whiteheads. And I am aware that the lady on the front of the box does have some of the mask right underneath her nose. I personally prefer not to do that just because my fingers are big so it would probably get on my lip anyway. That's why I just prefer to leave that area without any part of the mask. Overall, it took me about five to 10 minutes to apply this mask because I really want to make sure I got that thick, even layer all over my skin. Of course, you wanna take that extra residue off your fingers gotta get that thumbnail pick girl get that thumbnail and the instructions say to wait for about 25 minutes but I went ahead and left it on for about an hour just to make sure it was totally dry now of course while I'm waiting for it to dry I gotta put it on the snap I gotta make sure y'all see my Bosha mask is on fleek and I'm gonna slowly and carefully put on my new beats and a vibe out because of course there's no better way to pass time than to listen to your favorite music all right guys i'm back so after an hour maybe an hour and 10 minutes i'm patting my mask to see if it's dry at the surface now i noticed when i was peeling from my chin it was a, still a little wet underneath but I just went ahead and peeled it off anyway because like I said, it had been an hour. So everywhere else was pretty much dry for the most part. So like I said, I just went ahead and still peeled the mask off. 
Also, as I was peeling my mask off, I noticed that one side came off a lot cleaner than the other side. Perhaps that's because I put on a layer that was entirely too thick than what it was supposed to be. So, I just know next time to not put on a layer that is so thick. And now I'm just taking my warm towel to wipe away those wet spots. The last step and my favorite step is moisturizing my skin. Now the point of moisturizing is to close those pores back up that you've just opened, especially with that warm water. Um, the only moisturizing gel that I use on my skin is from Clinique. I've used this for about five or six years now. It has done me well. I do not put lotion or any other moisturizer on my face. I absolutely love this product. I definitely love the results of this mask. I saw a difference in my skin. I saw the black and white heads on the mask for my nose and my chin area that I mentioned earlier. So overall, I would give this mask a nine or a 10 out of 10 and I would definitely be using this more often. If you all enjoyed this first impressions of this Bosha Luminizing Mask, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my social media as always and I will see you all in the next one.